outrage is building over an expanding list of officials flouting pandemic travel restrictions. Right now, federal public health guidance states all non-essential travel outside of Canada is to be avoided. For months, politicians have been telling everyone to stay home. And yet that hasn't stopped some of them from leaving. Sean O'Shea is following the developing details in our top story tonight. Every time you take a trip, it puts people in jeopardy. With hospital intensive care units at or near capacity, government leaders have pleaded. Please, stay at home when you can. Only but instead of practicing what they preach, some politicians have been escaping the Canadian winter, quietly jetting away over the holidays. Now a growing scandal in Alberta. Someone chose to travel with rules that were in place that advised otherwise. Three United Conservative Party politicians decided to fly the coop over Christmas for fun. Cabinet Minister Tracy Allard vacationed in Hawaii. So did Parliamentary Secretary Jeremy Nixon. The Premier's own Chief of Staff, Jamie Huckabee, went to Britain last month. But so far, none is facing discipline. I really don't believe I can impose sanctions on individuals who uh, did not uh, violate the public health orders uh, or the law. It's just nakedly hypocritical, and that's why I think it's got such the... The, the, the resonant palpability that we're feeling. In Manitoba, MP Nikki Ashton went to see her ailing grandmother in Greece, but didn't tell NDP leader Jagmeet Singh ahead of time. Ashton was stripped of her critic role as a result. But Ontario's finance minister has paid the highest price for his secret trip to St. Bart's, an exclusive island in the Caribbean. When the story got out, Ontario Premier Doug Ford expressed outrage, the next day admitting he knew shortly after Phillips arrived on the island destination. I talked to him and asked where he was. He said he was away, so this is going to be an issue. Uh, my mistake. Phillips was ordered home and resigned. A significant uh, error in judgment. Uh, a dumb, dumb mistake. For a trip to the beach and a cheap daiquiri, he's thrown it all away. Like some other political vacationers, Phillips used social media to make it seem like he was at home. A very Merry Christmas. Phillips is now a comedic punchline on social media. We all need to do St. Bart's. I mean, our part. And with an air of woe is me, Calgary MP Michelle Rempel Gardner bemoans because of politicians like Phillips, now she can't travel to the States. I'll just be selfish and say, like, thanks, Rod. I don't get to see my mother-in-law now because there'll be a witch hunt if I go see my family. Tis the season when most of us heed the warnings to stay at home, but many closer to power do not. Sean O'Shea, Global News, Toronto.